yeah, chat about ownership um, with uh, Charlemagne's Black Effect, uh, Joe Budden versus Joe Budden podcast versus Spotify, and we've we've um, we have a new challenger, um, and that is Kanye West uh, mm. versus a big, a, I guess a bigger, a bigger, ad, maybe the biggest adversary um, in uh, Monster, Universal Monster. Uh, or UMG Universal uh, Music Group, mm. who own like. Music, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they own practically everything. everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, let me see if I got the details here. Actually, uh, I'll sum it up though. Kanye has been going off on a tweet storm. Um, I think it started with saying that uh, it's essentially modern day slavery. Um, <clears throat> he wants to own his masters. Uh, he had a few kind of weird tweets about uh, Drake uh, and. Uh, and J. Cole which were just a bit weird I couldn't really make sense of it. he says I need to chat to them he says I need apologies from them and immediately um, uh, he went through that well as part of this I guess like a four day storm really Um, he's posted uh, images of his contract Um, he's tweeted about one of the interesting things he tweeted about was um, he tweeted uh, Phil Knight's net worth versus Michael Jordan's net worth. Phil Knight's was, who anyone doesn't know is the owner of Nike or mm-hmm. Nike. Um, he's worth like 40 billion, 40 something billion. Mm-hmm. And then Jordan's worth a bill, yeah. one billion, like a single <laughs> yeah. soul billion. Um, and is that today? T- yeah, yeah, whatever, t- yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I guess the crux of that part of um, his argument is that we, the talent, mm-hmm. the face, yeah. mm-hmm. don't get the credit, well, at least the financial credit. All we get is, um, I guess, fame somewhat. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. this isn't right. And says so this is, yeah, essentially modern day slavery. Uh, he was arguing for producers to stand up hit boy uh, posters yes, and stuff, which so was that interesting. That him and Kanye, mm-hmm. he, he hasn't been checking for Kanye at all yep. for a long while. Mm-hmm. But he believes he's right. He believes that, yeah, on this occasion he's right. Which I, I respect that yeah. as well. Yeah, if you've got qualms with someone, yeah, yeah, yeah. there probably still is truth in, yeah, things they're saying. Yeah, so of course. I, I, I rated that from Hitboy. Um, I, what was weird, well, I think maybe yesterday I saw a tweet from him saying, I'm so happy everyone's kind of come together and speaking up, but I couldn't find evidence of loads of people speaking up. Yeah. So I don't know if he's trying to mm-hmm. wheel that into existence or yeah. whatever. But, um,. I think there's a bigger conversation at hand here about, I don't know, when I really deep it here, I'm like, it's really almost sounds like man of anti-capitalism in a weird kind of way. Um, and because that is, it's kind of the game, isn't it? Yeah. In a weird way. Uh-huh. Um, but I can't say that I'm, I'm totally with him in that if I am the owner, the creator of X, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. doesn't have to be music. It could be... I guess sport is a bit of a weird one. Whatever but, um, it is, I'm yeah. the drawer, innit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me my portion. It's expertise that you go to these things for and uh, contacts. So, yeah. yeah, again, we always say, like, yeah, marketing uh, plays a big, big part. Like, distribution, for instance. Mm-hmm. Um, legal kind of assistance. Mm. It's that whole package that comes with signing for... Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's, it's tougher to do it on your own um, oh, from course. the ground up so I can understand why people kind of see that as some sort of home where everything's taken care of mm-hmm. yeah um, but it seems like yeah it is starting to shift or there's been like a, an awakening um, which is good um, but then Kanye shouldn't really complain because he was the guy that was saying like slavery is a choice like so he shouldn't yeah, yeah. yeah he, that's, he, that's, like, he said slavery yeah. was a cho- real slavery was yeah, a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a choice. That was a now choice. you're moaning about deals mm. and pissing on Grammys, bro. This is oh yeah, that's another. Oh, yeah. Did you just see that? Oh, yeah, that, that was. Yeah, I, I don't know how I felt about that one. Like, what are you doing, like? <laughs> um, Man's got a video of pissing on the Grammy. That like, it's in the it's in the toilet. In the toilet. Well, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. have to take it out when you turn. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't flush it. You, you, you can't flush it. <laughs> I don't care how yeah, big yeah. your house is Someone's or how modern it, it is. That's not flushing, bro. <laughs> um, um, yeah, that's, that, that that was all mad, though. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's like drama. That's optics. Mm. Um, 
And yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I, I was saying before we started, Mike. Um, yeah, it felt like we hadn't heard from Kanye for like a couple of weeks. He saw mm-hmm. Joe Budden gaining traction. He, he knew that was the hottest topic um, in, I guess, black culture at the minute. Ha, 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 Popular ha. culture. So he's had to jump in and say, like, I'm still here. I'm still here, but yeah, 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 I don't yeah, think yeah, yeah. I don't think it's hitting as much. I don't think people care as much as they previously would have. Um, and like personally, I ain't been following his tweets because I don't really care that much. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I've not been following it. I just like see them pop up kind of thing, uh-huh. mm. and I might check for a couple, but I'm not like actively going on his page, no, seeing what no, like, what he said. It won't really dictate um, you. So I, yeah, do you, um, yeah I, think, I think you're right, Dan. I think you're right with the whole Joe Budden thing, to be honest. Do you mm. think it's then, um, it's disingenuous? No. Um, no, it's like opportunists. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think he's, he's, he's definitely speaking some truth in what he's saying. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, that, it's that Kanye again where it's, all right, what's, what's coming next? Is there is there an album coming? Is there a new Yeezy coming? Like mm-hmm. it's always the like with Joe doing his two episode rant. Um, now it's an opportunity for me to do my rant because that's what I'm known for. Yeah, really. I'm the ranker. Yeah, I'm the mm. I'm, yeah I'm the real <laughs> ranker. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I think there's, there's definitely truth in it. Um, but yeah, like Mike said, it's uh it's an opportunist thing from Kanye, and I think that's that's his thing, and I think he's fully aware of it and it's yeah. it's a little bit not smart because there's nothing smart about it but he's just using it to his advantage kind yeah. of I think it's like yeah it's the hot topic right now yeah let me add to it mm. it's all under the umbrella or the guise of yeah we're being kind of sinned against let me put my two pence <laughs> in and yeah. I, I do like it like yeah Hit Boy I didn't know about Hit Boy's story Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's brought light to that and hopefully yeah, he, he gets out of that situation yeah, 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 yeah I guess yeah basically that in the same breath it's it's also good to see that um, all these people that are in these top places and artists that we rate and think are sick and have uh-huh. done great things like Hit Boy's been mm-hmm. in his contract King's Disease and that since Matt. yeah since oh, um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he's, he's some young like since he was 17 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever however old he is now um, so years and he's been in the same shit contract uh, and I think Universal or whoever it is won't let him out of it or he can't get mm. him struggling to get out of it um, so it's, it's good to see that these people who have done great things behind the scenes it's not all it's not all roses yeah mm. Mm. do you think um, yeah go on. Oh, sorry um, Mike uh, he can't be saying that um, he will get us out of our deals talking about the industry and I guess he's some of his friends or rivals or call him what you like his peers um, do you think it'll happen? No no. you don't uh, think he's getting out you don't think, think, you don't think he's buying happen. back his masters he's only because he's, he's like my kids will own my masters not your kids kind of thing is one of the things he's been doing yeah yeah, yeah 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 you, I like that uh, something that, will happen no sh- but maybe not like to the extent what he's saying you know, you don't buy it. You think um, business as usual is gonna? It's I mean, they're not just on. gonna say, "Oh, okay, cool." Kanye said, "Here, well, take, take everything." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess the reality There's is gonna be some sort of. They're deal in control, though. Isn't it? Still, like, like they, yeah, he yeah. can say, "I'm gonna give you my entire net worth, five, four, five billion, whatever he's supposed to be worth now." They could mm. be like, "No." <laughs> yeah. Don't. Then what? Mm, 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 mm. Now you've got to waste the money, your billions, to go to court and fight these up. Yeah, they. I think they will always hold the upper hand just because they've they've been there way longer than you have, um, and you don't have the time or the energy or the resource mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. battle with mm-hmm. them because they will always uh, win. Uh, on the flip, um, yeah. I think someone like Ye can get his masters, um, but then. It's, I think it's not a, it's not something that can be applied to everyone not everyone will own their masters and unfortunately that's just how things are mm-hmm. and what I think will mm. be I think yeah there'll be success stories uh, along the line like someone will find a loophole yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but then 
can I see wholesale change in the music industry not just yet or anytime soon no. mm. uh, because yeah the bells and whistles that come with signing these deals they're, they're too appealing man mm. especially yeah. if you yeah. come from not much um, yeah like a man that signed the deal last year isn't going to go back to the label and be like oh Kanye said this said, yeah, nah. let's change it and they're going to be like oh, okay cool like, this, you wouldn't yeah. even get a response Don't worry about that. and yeah Kanye clearly like he has his own issues at the minute um, yeah. in different fields. Um, so I don't think he is the, the man to spearhead this change. Even though, yeah, he could be like the figurehead mm-hmm. or the icon which said it, but I don't think he's in the right place from what I'm seeing and hearing mm-hmm. um, to kind of have... Take it forward. Yeah, yeah. I guess the the, mm. the focused mind to say, yeah, this is what we're going to do because then he might start ranting about politics again and crying about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I nearly killed my daughter. I'm not sure, man. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, like, yeah, you got the ball rolling, cool. Let, let Jay take it from here, like. <laughs> 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 uh, Rich, uh, I don't know if Mike heard the bit about the Masters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which bit? Uh, the Jay. contract. Yeah, Mike, listen up, listen up to this bit. Go on. Uh, like oh, if go on. I Jay to get his masters. What Jay Z did to get. Oh his. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if Mike said this, but I feel like Mike probably put should it know put it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike wrote the contract. Mike was yeah. Mike, Mike gave him the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in the room as, like a, tw- as a twelve-year-old, like right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, Kanye tweeted like every page of his contract. It was pages upon pages. When I first saw it, I was like, I'm going to read into this. Mm. Went through like a page, mm. I was like, fuck <laughs> this, man. This doesn't even make sense. The way contracts are written are fucked. Uh-huh. But um, like page upon fuck. page, the um, Twitter detectives uh, went through them all and, and managed to find some, some meaning from it. Um, and I think it was DJ Academics posted that basically you add up all those pages and what you find out is that Jay-Z sold Kanye's Masters to get his masters. Do you know? Do you know when that was? I don't know when that was. No. Why? It'd just be interesting, isn't it, to see whether it was like 2005 versus like 2014. Oh, to see where that their relationship like. is. Um, yeah. I think if I remember correctly, I don't want to be wrong, but I'm sure it was like Kanye's first five albums or something like that. So basically, the good ones. So yeah. early days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it wouldn't be like oh four or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to do the math. It's just, I remember. I can't remember when, but I just remember hearing Jay, or oh, it being news when he got his masters. Um, mm. I, I wouldn't. I would never remember the year. So without looking up. Kanye then tweeted though. He must have seen this. Yeah. And said, um, like it's it's all love. That's big, bro. And apparently Jay-Z doesn't get his masters until 10 years time. But you never know. With a voice, when your voice is powerful so as Kanye So it couldn't have been back then. I don't know when the fuck it was. Otherwise he would have had them already, innit? Who Jay would have. Yeah, um, or yeah. maybe it was like yeah. a um, like a release clause kind of thing. I don't yeah, know. He just doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I was. Yeah. the point I was making is that yeah, he's going to yeah, say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are going to hear it what do you and not, not question it, I suppose. What do you not think? Like, that's like shitty. Oh, what? Do you reckon what? they had a conversation about it or Jay just done it? I, going by kind of previous, um, what would you call it? Record execs and yeah, top, top rappers who have rappers underneath them and on their labels and whatnot. I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case, personally. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. But wait, hang on. It don't make sense, though. So, he sold <laughs> Kanye <laughs> Masters, yeah? Apparently. Uh, wouldn't it be when so, he left? So, 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 wouldn't they have had these Masters already? Who would have had it? The label or whatever. Who would have had Kanye's masters before? So I'm thinking, wouldn't it be the time when Jay Rockefeller would have left had his. president of was it is it Def Jam or no not Def Jam Def Jam Def Jam Def Jam yeah Def Jam okay what you have to do our forensics yeah what you realize is that yeah like 
Rock, when you're signed to Rockefeller, you're signed to yeah. Rock Nation, four, you're five, signed yeah, to yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Def Jam, mm-hmm. you're actually signed to Universal. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Like, there's so many subsidiaries, it's, it's mad. So, ah, oh, fuck knows what will happen. Um, if that is the truth, it sounds dirty, but I bet it's common practice. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet it's, I bet you've done yeah. the same for several other artists. I don't think it's, it will be something personal. Uh huh. Yeah, um, I think there's always an exchange. Uh, for for anything, um, and mm. yeah, I don't imagine that they. He just said, "Yo, I want my masters," and they said, "All right, cool, here, here you go." Mm. Like, there's definitely something that he had to give up uh, in order to get that. So I reckon it's probably a catalogue of a certain number of artists' music. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'm not too. If if it's the truth, I'm not too surprised that that it's happened. But not to say that it was. I guess intentional to, uh, um, I guess do damage to, to Ye in his career mm-hmm. uh, or future. Um, but maybe it was just what was on the table at the time. The, yeah. pro- the price of business. But you can get them back though, because Bearman say that they own their masters. Well, Bearman say you can get them back, but I don't think many people have them back. I think that's just like a, um, <laughs> the carrot in front of a donkey, it's just dangling. Oh, you could get them back, but if man don't want to sell. Regardless of how much P you throw up, then it's whatever. We know about uh, Mace and Diddy, innit? Yeah. Good luck in those. Mm-hmm. Bro, if I don't want to give you, you ain't getting it. It's them. becoming more commonplace that people are like more savvy in yeah. the music business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see something the other day. Um, Russ, who is like a newer rapper, the American Russ. Yeah. Not, oh, yeah. Not I think he owns all his stuff, though. Yeah, yeah and he yeah. posted like um, the amount he made that week from streams and it was a stupid amount in the like yeah. thousands but he's just saying like yeah it is possible he's, he's a like, clever guy though mm. but, yeah he switched up finally you say that i was watching a bit of his i didn't watch it all i think i got started watching something else but um he's got a pull up with joe biden yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah he's yeah. in hoving yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's Pretty talking about yeah. a lot of that and the method he went around it um and how it works for him basically yeah it, it, but i think with mm. the difference with him and I think now you'll start. You'll probably start seeing it more. Mm-hmm. Is that when Jay and Ye signed their deals, like SoundCloud, like online, Different. like digital, uh-huh. weren't uh-huh. even it's a, a day, thing. Like, yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. Whereas yeah. now, um, yeah, yeah. let's yeah. take this podcast for example, or podcast in general for example. We, you can start this. You can wake up tomorrow, yeah. Sunday, and say, "Yeah, I'm gonna start putting on Monday." Barriers um, to entry are very low. And no one, you own everything. You own your equipment. You own the place you do it in. You mm-hmm. own the audio. Yeah. You own the visuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that was Russ's approach. Um, so he can and yeah. he produced a lot of his own stuff. Yeah. Uh, so he, yeah, he's always gonna own that stuff unless some label comes around with some mad figure, and they say, like Joe Spotify do, we'll. Uh, give you all of this cash and give you our platform or whatever mm-hmm. but you got to uh, give us uh, ownership of all your music all your content um, so yeah I think the time yeah the, the, game's, the game's changed isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, massively I mean yeah. we'll see and how like, um, go on Mike hip hop contracts are like historically bad like Not from like the 90s yeah, yeah. yeah notoriously like horrible mm. But yeah, made a change, and if Kanye, yeah, is sound of mind to, to lead the charge, mm. uh, long may it continue. But I think it's a passing phase, and next week they'll be, or it, this will dissolve and dissipate, and then in a month or two, you'll talk about something else. Yeah. Mm. It's because <laughs> Kanye is a funny one because yeah. he's, he's cried wolf too many times, isn't it? It's like we kind of know, we know what you're up to, man. Yeah. I mean, I hope, yeah. I hope it's genuine, but mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not. And I kind of think doing stuff by Twitter, like Twitter is a silly place now. Social media is a silly place in general. Mm-hmm. But I think when people are doing stuff with, like the president of the United States tweets, like really, yeah, yeah. like it's just enough yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. people to just go and spew like whatever they, whatever the first thing that comes to their head, they go write it down, um, and now everyone can read it. Um, so I don't really whatever anyone tweets, I don't really take it. It's a grain of salt thing. It's too perform. It. It's too performative, isn't yeah. it? Um, I'd rather mm. you know the whole world's watching like, like every can, time you, yeah, you can say stuff and there are uh, truths in tweets not every tweet is like that um, but I think sort of the ranty tweets like that I'm just a bit like you're just saying that uh-huh. just because it's cool or it's like on trend to say it now mm-hmm. but let me like if you're going to do interviews and whatever um, I'd rather hear you say it and like see your face when you say it 
um, and try and gauge your um, how genuine you are mm-hmm. in that way. Yeah, I would like to see Kanye and Joe Bonham podcast to see how that would play out because you can't jazz and all of that for too long. Like you, you get found out if uh-huh. it's not genuine, um, mm. and especially as they're kind of on the same side with the fight, it would be interesting. But don't think that's going to happen. But yeah. I think I think Joe said that he doesn't want to chat to him because of all that nonsense that he was saying before. Um, but yeah, I, I think it would be good. How is it? Um, I just, uh, like, certain things like that, when they come together, because they're, it's not going to be as raw as everyone. You're not going to get the Joe Budden You're not gonna get from the you... Joe Budden podcast. Yeah. You're going to get the Joe Budden from the pull-up. That's the Joe Budden. You're going to get the performative mm. presentation, Joe mm. Budden, the friend Joe Budden. Mm-hmm. Um, that that I'm not here for. That's everything. Yeah, the dynamic changes. I yeah, think. that's just too that's, big. That's what, and yeah. I guess the expectation from viewers, supporters, whatever we yeah. are, um, it probably won't match it. Mm.